Hey guys, this is Eve with Scrapbooking with me. Today we're going to make a mini album using these A2 size envelopes. And we're not going to use these because these are ivory. We're going to use the craft colored ones, but we do sell these in our shop. We sell the ivory, the white, and the craft. But you get 50 to a package, and they are 4.37 by 5.75 inches. So, lots of envelopes in there. And you're only going to need, let's see how many I've put in here. I've used one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I will be using nine, ten envelopes in here. So, you can make quite a few mini albums with that pack. Okay, to start off creating your mini album with your envelopes, this is the way you want to put them together. Open this envelope up with the flap up here. The opening's underneath. Open this envelope up with the flap up here and the openings on top so they're just opposite. You want to just put your glue on the sides of this because we're going to make this a pocket. So just run your glue right down the side here and right down the side on here. And then we'll attach this down. Uh, let's go ahead and run some down here on the bottom too. We don't want everything that we put in that pocket to run through. So there we go. And then you're just going to, like I said, lay them opposite. Put it whatever way that you feel like you're most comfortable with laying it down. Make sure that the sides are even and that this, the end of this envelope goes right to that fold for that little flap right there. you see what we did? Here's our flap right there with our little pocket. Got it glued on either side and then there's the solid part of the envelope Then here's the opening of that envelope. If you flip it over it's, you've got that opening there and then you've got the solid part here. Okay, hope that is clear. Just put your envelopes opposite each other. Let's make sure this is glued down pretty good. And then we, there we go. We can show you the pocket. So there we've got a pocket right there. And we have a pocket here. And then on this side, you have a pocket here. Now what you're going to do is you're just going to keep doing this over and over and over again. So I've already done this stack. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to open that up, lay this tab on top of this one. Let me make sure that that's right. There. No. Lay this tab on top of this one. Okay. So what you're going to do when you have a row of them made and you're ready to put your next ones on is you're going to lay this tab on top of that one with your opening right here. Your tab for this envelope is right here. So see, I've got this one upside down, this one right side up, this one upside down. You just keep going like that. Right side up, upside down, right side up, upside down. And just remember to put just a little glue on the side and on the bottom of your little tab or your little envelope flap. And then I like to flip them over and put them together like this. And that way I can see that I'm getting that even and just down to where that flap on that other envelope folds over. You don't want to go over that little fold. If you do that, your mini album is not going to fold right. So I do it just like that. All right, now I, I'm going to cover all of my little pieces. As you can see here, I've got my little, little pocket covered and then a place here covered that makes another pocket. And then I've got that slit in there on that. So this piece that covers the little tab, or the little um, envelope flap, is going to be, and I think I cut that a little bit long, let me cut that off a little bit. It's going to be five and a half inches wide. That looks better. So it's five and a half inches wide by one and a half inches, no, five and a half inches this way by one and a half inches this way. 
I will get this correct. I'm sorry. You can tell I had a migraine yesterday. I can't. The day after the migraine, I have a migraine hangover and I don't function well. So please excuse me. I'm going to try my best to go over this with you as best I can. All right, there's that one. Five and a half by one and a half. I will have the all the measurements on my blog, I promise. I have been sliding on that a little bit. But I will try to put these on there and, and try to put a little photo as to how to lay these down, just simply because I know this is a little bit confusing. Okay, on this piece right here that goes underneath to kind of cover that, what I did is cut, cut this one at one and three quarters by five and a half. And I just slide it, and I'm going to see if I wanna, which one I want to slide in there. I think I'm going to slide this one in there. And I just slide it down in there till it okay slide it down in there until the edge of the the piece that you cut is just even with the edge of that little piece of envelope right there let me zoom in just a tiny bit so that you can see and I'll try to stay in frame so see this is even with that little flap right there and then all I do is I take my glue and I run it in there, put a little bit down there, I put a little bit right here, and then I run just a bead down through there, and I glue that down. What that does is gives me that pocket right there. Now, you could ink these or do whatever on them that you want to make them look really pretty. Okay, so let's glue this one. Down. I think I'm going to glue it that way. If your envelopes are different sizes than these, then just adjust your pieces that you cut for it to cover it. They don't have to be this exact envelope. Okay, so we're going to put that down there. And then we're going to put this piece right here. See which way is the right side up. Okay, and what I do is I take this piece and I slide it almost down to where that opening right there is. Just right up against it. That way there's no brown showing in between them. And this piece is... Let me get you the measurements on this one right quick. This piece is one and three quarter by five and a half. So you're going to have two that is one and three quarter by five and a half, and then one that is one and a half by five and a half. And see, that gets all of that covered. Now you have a pocket here, and you have a pocket here. Okay, then this piece right here is going to be what I call the full sheet. So this one is going to be four and one fourth by five and a half. Just center it in between there. And if you didn't want your envelope color to show, then you can make it the exact size of that. Alright, we're going to flip it over. So we're going to fold that that way, that way, and we're going to flip it over and do this side. So we're going to need another piece that is five and a half by four and a quarter. There we go. Now you can put glue on this part or not. That's up to you. This is going to glue right on top of it, so it really doesn't matter. So on this one, I'm not going to put glue there. I'm just going to put this down. So remember, bring it right to the edge of that little opening. That will give you... So if you wanted to leave that one open, you'll have a pocket here, a pocket here, and a pocket here. So you can do that either way that you want. That way you've got three pockets on one side. Or if you do it like I did over here, 
and glue this down, then you've got one pocket here and one pocket here. So see, lots of different options on this. All right, we've got everything covered on both sides. All of them are alternating, as you can see. Now on this flap, this is going to be the top, so I am going to cut this flap off completely because I don't need that. You could have cut this off prior to putting it together or just do like I'm doing and risk it and hope that you get it straight with the scissors. There we go. A little bit right there. Okay. So we got that gone. So you see how this is going to work? You can either flip through it like this. You have pictures. You can have, you know, little journaling spots. You can put things in the pockets on all of them. And then on the other side, you've got the same thing. And then this one, this piece right here, you're going to leave blank because this is what you're going to glue down to the back part of the album cover. So let me zoom back out and we'll do the album cover right quick. Cover, you're going to need two pieces of chipboard that are cut, and you could use cereal boxes that are cut five and one eighth by six and a half. So you're going to need two pieces of that. Then you're going to need one piece that is cut one and one eighth by six and a half. So what we're going to do is glue this down to there, and I am going to use score tape. My ATG tape, well, I have my score tape all the way around, and then I have some ATG tape in the middle. I did run out of ATG tape right here, so I finished it off with score tape. I like to put lots of ATG in the middle. That makes everything stick down well. So we're just going to pull the backing off of this. And now this piece measures, and let me get my... This piece measures six inches by eight and a half. And I just cut this out of some of our craft cardstock. So what I'm and then I drew a line up at one inch so that I can have something to lay this down on, and I'm gonna put it right up to the edge over here. Here we go. And then this middle piece measures three and a half by eight and a half. And then I drew a line across the bottom and then up the side so that I'll know where to place this. And then I can get it straight up and down. Because this is going to be your spine piece, so it's very important that you get this piece straight. So there we go. And it just makes it a lot easier. Now what this is going to do is this is going to lay over that just like this. I have done my mini albums like this before and you have seen those. But we're going to leave about a quarter of an inch gap in between there so that it will fold really well. So it's going to lay just like that. That's going to reinforce our spine. So what we want to do now is we want to put some ATG tape, score tape, whatever you're using on this right here. And I am going to use score tape. We're going to make sure that these two pieces are lined up perfectly. So we're going to pull this backing off. Flip it over, and this little edge right here that's a little bit loose, I'm going to run some glue under there. Make sure that I get that down really well. Okay. 
Okay. So that is that one down. Now we're going to do this one the same way. Now all we're going to do is just our normal where we run the bone folder down through here so that our sides will fold up. You've seen me do this lots of times. So as usual, I trim my corners a little bit different than everybody else does. I take them off. I take them off at an angle like that. So I don't go all the way across like this. I kind of go up at an angle and I let my scissors, my Tim Holtz scissors, be my guide to how much to leave there because that the edge of that scissor is about a little bit up, like an eighth of an inch so that gives me plenty of room so I start with the sides I do my bone folder up as you know it just makes that fold so much easier So I'll put that up there. And this new craft paper that we have got, oh my goodness, it's so thick. I love it. It folds really easy. It doesn't crack. And it leaves just a fantastic edge for mini albums. And you get 20 sheets for like 10 bucks. So I think that's pretty pretty inexpensive. My battery died right in the middle of something and I didn't notice and it didn't beep at me so I don't know how far I got but I do have the outside of this covered and I have pieced my paper together to put here. So there we go. Got that down. Just going to make sure that I have plenty of glue under there and everything is sticking well. If it's not, I will put my fine tip under there and go a little bit more. Okay. We're going to flip it over and then we're going to cover the outside before putting our pages down. Okay, so your spine is cut at 3 by 6. Your front and back covers are cut at 5 by 6. So what we want to do is put our spine piece down first. And I'm just going to kind of center it. Okay, we're just going to put these down with some ATG tape. Because that should hold well enough for the covers. put quite a bit on the spine because it will be folding so I want to make sure that it stays put and then I'm just going to try to center it now right here is the center of my spine well the spine on my book anyway not my spine and then I'm just going to try to center it and put it as straight as I can down through there like that and then this is going to be the front and I did go ahead and ink around these with the vintage photo just because I think it finishes that out pretty good making sure that those line up right there and I don't want to get it in that crease so I'm going to bring it out a little bit We don't have as much sh brown showing out here, but that's okay with me. I just didn't want this, t that, um, where I put it together there to be in that crease. So I was afraid that might cause some problems. 
And then we will bend this again. So there we go. There's our spine piece. And then our front and back covers like that. And then there's the inside. Alright, so what we're going to do is put this down on here. Now, I like to just kind of lay it down first and see where I need it, where I want it to go. So I've got quite a bit of room around it. So now all we're going to do is put some score tape on here. And I would use score tape on this because this is going to keep your album together. This is what's going to keep all the pages in the book. So I would use a strong adhesive on this. Okay, now make sure that you have it opening the way that you want it. I want the my pocket on this top one to be to the outside. So I'm going to put it down just like this. So there we go. We got it pressed down. And we have that on there. Now all I'm going to close mine with is some ribbon. And you could have put your ribbon, you know, underneath your paper beforehand if you'd wanted to. So let me show you how this opens up first. When you open the album up, then you've got this. So all of your pages fold out. And you have the other side as well. Or you can just do it like this. Flip through it like that. Go to the other side and flip through like that. If you want to. If you don't want to, you know, pull it all out, accordion it all out and all that kind of thing. But you still got everything in here. You've got all your pockets. You've got a big pocket right here that you could put things in. And then you've got all of these pockets going on here. So you've got tons and tons of room. Okay, so my closure is going to be this ribbon. And I, know I don't have it finished, so just give me a minute. <laughs> I just put some um, score tape down and put my ribbon on it here and on the back. And then I'm going to cover this over with something. And then it will just tie in a bow on the end like that. So let's find what we want to cover. As you can with. see, I have lots and lots of things around me right now. I am going to put a few little things on the front, and I just cut some of these out from the paper collection. They're like little postcards. I'm going to put some of those on the front. Okay, now I have a, one of the wood pieces, and I just colored this with some of the Inca Gold that I have in. It's just a, a light pink color, and I'm going to put that right there. I'm going to clean that up right there a little bit. So I'm going to put that down right there. I colored a heart, one of the wood hearts, up with the uh, Inca Gold as well. You could paint them, do whatever. I'm going to put that right there on top of that to hold that ribbon down and to kind of disguise that end piece there. I also have a little wood piece. It is a feather. And I colored it up. And I think I'm going to put it like right there and then I may just kind of lay some of these little flowers around just in different areas I'm not sure yet I might do something like that we'll see when I get these pieces down so I think that's good on the front I don't want to overdo it and I could overdo it easily I just I like to keep going on and on and on putting things on here but I think that's good enough not going to put anything on the back but I am going to reinforce this right here just a little bit so all I'm going to do is I'm going to use this piece and I'm going to glue it down over that ribbon that will give that ribbon more strength plus it will just make it stay make it sturdy and kind of disguise where the end falls on that and that again is a little piece of cutout from the paper collection. So see, that does that. And like I said, you could always put your ribbon under the paper. I just never know how I want to close my mini albums until I get to that point. 
so that's why I do this. I left lots of ribbon so that I could close this well. And that we can still add a lot of things in there. So that's the mini album. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. I will decorate the inside and the pages and everything as I put my pictures in there. So you just untie it, open it up, and you've got all of this. Like I said, you can flip them, flip through, or you can pull it out accordion style any way that you want. You've got places on both sides for your pictures. I think that is super, super cute. You could put a pocket right here on this side. Put your little pocket there. That would be really cute. Even put a pen or something in here if you wanted to. So that is it, guys. That is the mini album that we have done. I hope you enjoyed. Please give us a thumbs up and subscribe. And we, I think we are at or very, very close to our 5,000 subscriber giveaway. If uh, I, I will look again, I think we liked three people this morning. If I look again this afternoon and we have the 5,000 members, then tomorrow I will be announcing the day that we'll do our drawing on and give away the prizes. So don't forget, if you're not a subscriber, hit that subscribe button and so that and then go down and leave a comment on the video that says the um, 5,000 subscriber giveaway and so that you can be entered. We'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.